Does everyone want to line up the stair, please? <coughs> I'm Nick, I'm going to be your instructor for today. What's everyone's name? Jake. Jake, Chris, and Andy. Okay, nice to meet you all. Basically, how's every, how, how is everybody's uh, ski boots feeling? Uh, yeah. On the right feet, not too uncomfortable. Okay, well, you've got your skis and <coughs> you've got the edge of your ski here, the bottom of your ski, which is what you obviously slide on, front of the ski, back of the ski, and you can use either, so there's no right or left either, they're identical. And you've got your binding here, which you stick to the toe of your boot in, to the front here, and then you press down on the back, and you know that your boot's in when it clicks up like that, and your ski's then attached. And to put your ski, take your ski off, you just press down there on the bottom. And as you press down, when your foot is off this bit here, this is your brake, and this will stop the ski if it comes off your foot sliding down the hill. Now, does everybody want to uh, try a ski on? Yeah. You've got your poles, and to put your poles on correctly, you put your hand up through the loop here, and then front round over the top and flip it like this. Uh, well, take it, take it. <coughs> so we'll just put one ski on. Get used to maybe sliding around a little bit. Can we follow you? Yeah. Now, if you'd like to um, flip your next ski in. <laughs> now obviously we've got a lot less balance compared to when we had one ski on and we had our foot to lean on and this will probably be an optimal feeling but to get used to the skis we can maybe do a bit of joggy on the spot a few jumps and then maybe a bit side to side movement Now we'll go to a slide up here with our uh, two skis. Follow me. Hold them here to the pole and then turn around and back. Okay. Everybody ready? Okay, on your marks, get set, go. You lazy, lazy bastard, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> We've been linking turns uh, in the snowplow position and now we're going to 
I'm going to give you a quick demo on how we're going to get our skis from the snowplow position into parallel, turning nicely just with our skis exactly as they are. And <clears throat> so basically what you'll be doing is tapping your inside ski, so if you're turning round this way and you're starting here, so you're turning right, then you're going to be tapping your right hand ski inside from the snowplow position. Now I'd like you to start tapping it at the middle of the turn. I'll give you a quick demo, a few turns, and then I'd like you to come down to where I am. Okay. Berg whistle! Try and make sure your ski's going nicely across the hill. Very nice. Work bird whistle. So try and really get your shins on the front of those boots, okay? Tricky. That's right, Tricky, really nice turn shake. Same thing with over, so really just try and get your shins on the front of your boot, but without breaking at the waist. So rather than your upper body moving down, you want your shins at the front of your boot, but like a leaning tower of Pisa. That was very nice. Really, really nice, Chris. Excellent, excellent speed control and really nice turn shake so. Andy! Very really nice, Andy. Very smooth. Here, Cub. Good work, Jay. Thank you, Klaus. Right, that was really nice, people. <clears throat> probably the only thing I could probably say as a general is just making sure that you're always getting your weight really committed forwards and onto the front of your skis because that will give you the most control throughout the turn. But now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we want to tap the foot a little bit less, so maybe one or two taps into parallel. And if you like, and you feel like you're ready to try it, then you can try jumping into the turns a little bit, okay? If you're going parallel, that is. Okay, so I'll give you a quick demo.
Okay, and if you like to jump into the dance, you can try this.